This webinar is for people who think they have a selfish partner or for people whose partners think they're selfish. Well, on autopilot, everyone can be selfish. Autopilot's what we do automatically, by habit, without thinking. It happens, though, that we're hypersensitive to partners acting selfishly, but hardly aware when we are. Our brains did not evolve to objectively analyze our own behavior. So here's a little selfish checklist that can help. Selfish partners tend to regard their partners as selfish. In general, we're intolerant of qualities in others we don't like in ourselves. So if you perceive you might be a little bit selfish, uh, you're not going to tolerate that in anyone else. You know, one tragic example of that is in child abuse. The mistreated child is almost always the one who reminds the abuser the most of himself or herself. Sometimes when we accuse partners of being selfish, what we really mean is they're not conforming to our selfish preferences. My feelings are the standard for all. I'll dismiss my partner's feelings when I would never feel that way. So my partner has to feel the way I would or has to react the way I would or behave the way I would. Praise me. Partners who want praise for specific acts that are not selfish sense that most of what they do is selfish. I saved you half the dessert. Why don't you appreciate it? Because I should eat all of it. You have to think like me. Uh, a sure sign of selfishness is when you're intolerant of disagreement. I'm the victim here. I recall all the hurts I've suffered, but not those I've inflicted. And again, that's not because you're a hypocrite. It's really our brains do not evolve to record injury we inflict. They evolve to record injury we suffer. So you, on autopilot, you won't remember what you did wrong unless you're in touch with your own guilt and shame. And that takes more reflection. You don't do that on autopilot. Mine and no. This is the favorite two words of the toddler. And what they mean is my way or no way. Now, how to make things worse if you live with a selfish person or are a little bit selfish yourself. Label your partner as selfish or worse, having a personality disorder. Accurately assessing selfishness requires reflection. Most people get defensive, not reflective, when accused or labeled. In fact, if you call someone selfish, they're going to call you something back. What you want to do for improvement is engage reflection. So you would ask your partner, do you think I'm being fair in whatever we're talking about? How can we be fairer to each other? When you engage reflection, you have a chance for improvement. Just accusing someone's always going to make it worse.